In this video, we're going to talk about Robinhood, the app, uh, investing in Robinhood. And I'm just going to give you my review and the pros and cons of investing with Robinhood. This is going to be a quick video because it's obviously nighttime. And this is the first video I've done at night in a while. Uh, so I wanted to get in there real quick because I also have an early morning ahead of me. So first of all, for those of you who don't know what Robinhood is, Robinhood is just a free app where you can invest in stocks and mutual funds and uh, REITs and all kinds of other things. All right, and it's basically a way for you to invest, but you also don't have to pay a commission, which makes it really good for people who are just getting started with investing in stocks or investing in the stock market. All right, um, so here are the what I think the pros and cons are, and then I'll give you my overall, like, should you use it or should you not. So let's start with the negatives of Robinhood. So Robinhood does not have the ability to, at least for on some parts, once a stock goes underneath a certain point, right, in terms of the price, Robinhood no longer um, lets you buy through them. For example, one company that I was speculating with was, uh, I think it was called MoviePass or something like that. And anyway, MoviePass, yeah, MoviePass was a company that they had a, a horrible, horrible go of uh, business. Not going to get into their business model, but needless to say, they did really bad. Their stocks tanked. I think right now it's like two pennies, two cents per stock, per share. Now, they, I think at around five cents, dropped off of Robinhood, right? Now, someone like me, I'm looking at it like, oh, well, let's let's see if, you know, because you put a dollar in there, you got 20 stocks at five cents. Let's see what happens over the next year or two, right? You can't. You have to wait until it becomes something that you can actually invest in again based on the stock price going up. And maybe it has more to do with the company, but I did notice that overall, a lot of low dollar stocks are not available on Robinhood. All right, so that's that's really the primary negative. Also, some some very very good uh, some very good and emerging companies are not available on Robinhood, but they're available on other uh, platforms to buy or to invest in as a stock. So. Now that I have that out of the way, here's the good parts, right? So Robinhood is great if you're a beginner because of the fact that you don't pay commissions. Now, the reason why that's a big deal, with many other platforms out there, uh, you have to pay like $5, $7, $10, even more per trade. So in order for you to trade, it really has to be something that's worthwhile uh, to where you can recoup that extra bit per trade, right? Um, so it's a really good situation if you're brand new, if you are just learning, because it limits the downside of what you could potentially lose from investing. Now, in reality, you only lose in investing when you sell, so you kind of control what you lose anyway. Um, number two is Robinhood to me, right? One of the great things about Robinhood is that you can invest in uh, dividends, dividend producing stocks, right? Now, I like that simply because of the fact that dividends allow you to automatically grow your stock portfolio. Now, it doesn't grow super fast, but it's one of those things where if you hold the right dividend based stocks, you can automatically pretty much make like four or five percent uh, off of your portfolio. And then you can use the rest of your uh, portfolio that isn't in growth stocks to grow even higher. So you can eke out a little bit more of a of a gain, if you will, right? And uh, so I'll say this, getting right into the review. What do I think about Robinhood? Robinhood is an excellent app if you're just starting out uh, and you're not a day trader. I, well... I've heard of people doing day trading. I've never done day trading on Robinhood, so I'm not going to say to do it as a day trader. Uh, if you plan on buying and holding or making trades that are not day trades, right? Like not the same, you know, in a shorter period of time, short enough period of time to be considered a day trade. 
then I say Robin Hood is for you. You don't spend a lot of money on uh, commissions and you don't spend a lot of money on uh, trade fees and stuff like that. It's literally just you put your money in there, you buy what you want, you sell what you want, the end. Um, so yeah, I would say this. If you're looking at, if you're trying to understand how to get started in investing, start buying stocks, you need to check out Robinhood. Uh, and if you get started, I have a link below that will actually give you a free stock. So be sure to check out the link in my description um, if you decide that Robinhood is something you want to give a shot. And it's worth it because it's free. You just have to put your uh, information on there. They log you on to uh, Robinhood and you can just basically buy from there as long as you have money in your bank account. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, all of Robin Hood. Now, if you have missed any of my videos, don't do it anymore. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. This is Mike Malbro. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and you enjoyed it. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video.